Pyongyang's last testing of its weapons was in May. Well, we spoke with Joseph Kim in Seoul over the phone about the latest launch and what impact it could have on denuclearization talks. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff confirmed that North Korea fired two unidentified projectiles near its uh, east coast, one at around 5.34 a.m. Uh, time in South Korea, then at 5.57. Now, South Korea and U.S. authorities are analyzing exactly what North Korea had launched, adding that uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff adding our military is closely monitoring the situation in case of additional launches while maintaining a readiness posture. As you mentioned, this is the second projectile test North Korea has carried out this year uh, after it fired two short-range ballistic missiles in May. Right before this test happened, we heard from South Korea's ambassador to the United States telling a group of reporters in Washington that the U.S. is still waiting for a response regarding the time and location for the resumption of working level talks uh, for denuclearization. But it does seem that after this, things could be up in the air, especially if you remember that North Korea, through its state media, said and warned the United States and South Korea that the talks could be in jeopardy if they continued on and went ahead with their joint military exercises slated for August. Now, these working level discussions that the U.S. and North Korea were supposed to have was supposed to happen in mid-July, but now it seems that this could be up in the air, especially because testing rockets and testing projectiles has been one of the things that Trump has touted throughout his uh, leadership, saying that he has gotten North Korea to stop testing missiles. But now, after May and now today, uh, depending on what comes out from the analysis, this could hamper the discussions going forward.